Hello everyone, Spazzy Jones here with another Lens Island video. I've now played over 50 hours of Lens Island since the Curse Underworld update, and I think it's finally time for me to reveal my top 10 tips and secrets. These tips will range from simple to life altering depending on how much time you have played the game, but I do hope you learn something new. I've left my best secret for last, so make sure you stick around to the end. Let's get into it. Number one. Find the mining quarry in the caves to take your mining to the next level. The mining quarry is located in a randomly generated location in the caves. It is, however, always located under a desert biome island. As you navigate the caves, keep an eye out for a desert biome and this giant machine. The mining quarry takes oil as fuel and automatically starts mining for you. Load it up with oil, go about your business, and return in a few minutes to a pile of riches to pick up. The quarry can give you stone, coal, titanium, limestone, iron shards, and even light stone. All are possible to be mined by the quarry. Number two. When your hunger is completely filled, you receive passive healing every 60 seconds or so. When I first started the game, I didn't realize this and had no idea how to heal myself after taking damage. Don't make the same mistake I made, and when you dive into a dungeon, make sure you have a full belly. It could be the difference between life and death. Number 3. Find and mine yourself some lightstone. Lightstone is a powerful ore used to enchant your weapons and tools. Lightstone is exceptionally rare and is only found around the perimeter of the cave's map. On screen is my map where I have marked each lightstone location with blue pickaxes. Keep in mind that caves are randomly generated in Lens Island, so they might not be located exactly in the same place for you. Also keep in mind, you first need a titanium pickaxe to be able to mine this ore. Check out my complete tools guide in the top right to get your titanium pickaxe and any other tool you might need. Number 4. Specific NPCs in the game can retrieve your lost backpack for a small fee. As you know, if you die in Lens Island, you drop your backpack and all of its contents. Sometimes it's difficult to get back to where you died. If that's the case, reach out to an NPC and pay them to grab the bag for you. One example of these NPCs is Alex on the starting island. Speak with him, pay a small fee, and he will retrieve your backpack for you. Number 5. Stop harvesting your crops with your bare hands and purchase the scythe from Steph to harvest your crops. I spent a ton of time, like a dummy, mining my crops one by one with my hands. I didn't realize I could buy the scythe and easily quadruple my harvesting speed. Don't make the same mistake as me. Hit up Steph on the starting island and purchase that scythe. Number 6. Use the recipe interface menu at the fireplace, alchemy table, refinery, and smelter. All of the recipes for cooking, alchemy, refining, and smelting are easily visible as a menu for each piece of equipment in the game. Silly me was guessing at the ingredients for recipes, like the mango trout at the fireplace, not realizing that I could simply hit an arrow to display a menu showing me the exact ingredients for any recipe. Make your life easier and check these menus out. Number 7. For the love of god, you can build in the caves. I swear to you, I was stuck in a cave for a solid 30 minutes, not realizing I could build a stair to get myself out. Build some steps and stairs to make the navigation of the caves 10 times easier. Number 8. You can change the style of everything you craft. Many of the styles have different material requirements to craft items. If you're ever lacking the material requirements for one style, try another. Also, each style has their own unique aesthetic. There are four styles, wood, stone, ornate, and pagoda. Try each one and figure out which one looks best to you to make your house a home. Number 9. Start farming in the caves. The only crop you can farm in the caves are mushrooms. However, keep in mind that you can't grow mushrooms above ground either. You're going to need lots of mushrooms for recipes and also to buy the druid's armor, so don't miss this tip. Number 10. The best tip for last. Find the secret wrecked armor set. Scattered across the map are four pieces of this gear set, and each piece giving you a 5% increased sailing speed. 
for a total of 20% increased sail speed with the full set. You can't be beat for quick exploration when you have this full set. Check out my full armor guard on the top right to find out exactly how to get each gear piece, including the wrecked armor set. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and please share your favorite tips and tricks. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks.